So voltmeter is the device which can measure a pretty big potential difference. Voltmeter measures very big potential difference. As I said, this is an industry exam question. This time, we are going to connect a high value resistor in series with the coil. So now that's why I'm with Shrobo talk about the series connection. So how we connect uh, two resistors in series. So there are two resistors, R1 and R2. These two resistors can be connected in series by joining one end of each. So these two resistors will have a single joint. Now these two resistors are connected in series. Other two ends, which are free, will be connected to a battery, whose potential difference is real. This connection is known as a series connection. And in a series connection, there are two, four common characteristics, but uh, I'm just going to explain two of them, which is needed. One of them is electric current leaving, starting from the positive terminal of the battery, say an I, continue to the circuit. It will pass through the resistor one first. So I say that it's I1. But the same current also passed through the resistor two say I2, which tells you that electric current cycle in series coordination. So I1 and I2 are equal. Second characteristic is these two resistors will share potential difference of the battery. So potential difference of the battery is V. They will share this potential difference. A part of this potential difference V will drop on the resistor one, the rest will drop on resistor 2. So if I say that potential difference across resistor 1 is V1, and potential difference across the resistor 2 is V2, so V is going to be V1 plus V2. So when we add the potential difference across resistor 1 and potential difference across resistor 2, when I add them, I will calculate total potential difference, which is the potential difference of the battery. And for this equation, if I insert its equivalent according to Ohm's law, what is that? We know Ohm's law says that uh, V is equal to I times R, where we said that. So I is equal to V divided by R. So instead of I1, I will write V1 over R1. Instead of I2, I will write V2 over R2. V1 over R1 and V2 R over R2, which is electric current I1 and electric current R2, they are equal. What does the equation tell you? Potential difference and resistance are in direct proportion. As resistance increases, potential difference also increases. As resistance decreases, potential difference also decreases. If two quantities are divided one another, those quantities are directly proportional. If two, are, two quantities are multiplied, those quantities are inverse proportional. Remember it, a major? So it was I1 times R1 is equal to I2 times R2. And so with two quantities I multiplied, remember? So they are inversely proportional. But in here, divided, they are directly proportional. As R1 increases, V1 must increase to keep the same ratio. As R1 decreases, V2 must decrease to keep the same ratio. That's why in series combination, Potential differences and resistance are directly proportional. Big resistor will have a big potential difference. Small resistor will have a small potential difference. Now let's apply this information to a voltmeter. So in voltmeter, a high value resistor, high value resistor R, is in connected in series with the coil. So resistance of the coil, we said RG, because coil represents galvanometer. So resistance of galvanometer, I will say RG. And R is much, much, much greater than RG. R is greater than RG, high value resistor. R is high value resistor. So then, can you compare their potential differences? Which one will have a greater potential difference? Which or 
We are. Which one will have a greater potential? Potential difference across the resistor R will be greater than potential difference across the galvanometer. Yani yani BR is going to be greater than VG. And some of them, VG is potential difference across the galvanometer. This is VG. And V R is the potential difference across the resistor. When I add them, I will calculate total potential difference. So, V is equal to Vg plus Vr. And also, we know that same electric current passes through, same electric current passes through each devices. Now, electric current on the galvanometer and electric current on the resistor, they are equal. So, in this case, let's write it in terms of that equation. So, potential difference across the galvanometer divided by resistance of galvanometer must be equal to potential difference across the resistor divided by resistance of the resistor. And because this R is big, total potential difference, total potential difference, which must, which must be measured, will be shared, shared. And most of the total potential difference drops on the resistor as VR. Yani VR is going to be much greater than VG. A remaining potential difference, with a small potential difference, VG remains for the galvanometer. So now we are going to apply this uh, information to the problem. So this is the problem in this exam question as well. We are going to solve this. There are two chapter problems. One of them is about a meter. This is about voltmeter. A moving coil voltmeter. Coil. Coil represents galvanometer. Even if it's a little voltmeter, I should understand that. This is galvanometer. This is talking about galvanometer. Measures potential difference between 0 and 5. Mm, this coil measures between 0 and 5. Coil measures all the potential difference between 0 until 5. Yani Vg. It is Vg. This 5 volt can be maximum potential difference. The coil can, uh, can um, show or can take. So Vg is going to be 5 volt. If the resistance of the voltmeter, still we are talking about this moving coil voltmeter, still we didn't do movement, but it's galvanometer still talking about this. If the resistance of this voltmeter is 500 ohm, yani this is the resistance of coil, a coil above the galvanometer, this is RG coil. So RG is 500 ohm. Calculate the intensity of the current, of course, only coil exists in this connection. So I will calculate IG. What is IG? Through the uh, through it, if it reaches five volt, yeah, if volt potential difference is five volt, what is the red electric current? So we are going to use Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law tell you? Where V is equal to I times R, but we will calculate. V is given. VG is given. R is the question. R is given. These two are given. We will calculate IG. So divide by RG, both sides divide by RG, divide by RG. So IG is equal to VG divided by RG. How much is VG? 5 volt. Insert 5 in here. How much is RG? 500. Insert in here. 50 divided by 5 divided by 500, which is going to be 0.01 ampere. What does this mean? This coil, galvanometer's coil, can measure maximum 5 volt. 5 volt and maximum current on this coil can be 0.01 ampere. Greater than that, mm -mm. so if it is greater than 5 volt, what potential difference? Or electric current greater than 0.01 ampere, this coil will burn. So you cannot use the galvanometer anymore. Those are those values are maximum values. Maximum. Potential difference can measure and maximum current which can pass through this coil. Now, this question is a B part. In B part, we will, of course, construct a voltmeter from this galvanometer. We want to use this voltmeter to measure a potential difference greater than 5 volt. Of course, without connecting a resistor, if we do this, it will burn. 
So what is the resistance of the resistor that should be connected in series with the voltmeter? Yes, we will connect a resistor in series with the coil. In order to measure a potential difference of how much? 30, we will measure 30 now. Or and also 120, one by one we will calculate that. So we will measure a potential difference, how much first? 30. This is going to be 30, this potential difference is going to be 30. And we know that coil and galvanometer can measure maximum how much? 5 volt. So we cannot measure greater than 5 in the first part of the question, we saw that. It measures between 0 and 5. More than 5, coil cannot measure. So that's why galvanometer's potential difference can be maximum how much? 5 volt. Which is 5 volt. But we are going to measure 30 volt. If this is 5, how much is here? Drops on the resistor. 25. Remaining 25 must drop on the re resistor. 25. Vr is equal to 25 volt. So at that, 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. Correct. Then 5 volt will drop on the resistor, on the galvanometer. And the remaining of the 30, remaining of the 30, when you when 5 drops in here, other 25 will drop on the resistor. Vr is going to be 25 volt. Tell me how much maximum current can coil uh, draw? It was 0.01. In part A, we calculated maximum 0.01. So electric current passing through the coil can be 0.01 ampere. Okay, this is series connection. In series, electric current side, same. So that's why electric current on the resistor is going to be 0.01 as well. Same electric current passes through the, them because they are connected in series. So I know electric current on the resistor. I know potential difference across the resistor. According to Ohm's law, can I calculate resistance R? Yes, we can. <coughs> so what is the equation for this? Verf. Verf. I will write this in terms of uh, resistor VR is going to be IR times R. So this is known, this is known, this is unknown. I will calculate that. So divide by IR, divide by IR, simplify IR. R is equal to VR divided by IR. How much is VR? 25. Right here, 25. We wrote it here. How much is IR? 0.01. Right here, 0.01. Divide that. 25 divided by 0.01, result is going to be 2,500 ohm. So let's solve the same question for 120 volt. If total potential difference is, yeah, this potential difference is 120 volt. How many, how many potential, how much drops on the, on the galvanometer? How much? Only oh, five. Galvanometer can measure only 5 volt. How much will drop on the resistor? 150. 115 volt drops on the resistor. Then, instead of VR, I am going to write how much? 115. 115 divided by uh, the electric current can be maximum how much? 0.01. So again, 0. divide 0.01. Multiply that, result is going to be 11,500 ohm. So, this way, this is how we solve this problem about the voltmeter. I mean, in this exams, there are only changing numbers. Structural question doesn't change. Only numbers can change. As I did here, they can ask you about 430, or they can ask 120, or another number. Maybe this number can, can be. 0 to 5, then instead of 0 to 5, 0 to 10. But structure of the problem will be same. Okay, you can check your second question, you will see that.